In this video, we're going to take a look at percentages and try to understand exactly what they are and what they could be used for. So if I want to find a, a percentage of a particular amount, what we say is that original amount is 100%. So let's make up a little example. Let's say we've got $400. Well, that, as I've just said, is 100%. It's a whole, okay? So it is a whole amount. Now, if we want to find any other percentages, we just have to remember that the original is 100%. And everything is in proportion to one another. So, for example, if I wanted 50%, well, that's 100 divided by 2. So if I wanted 50% of $400, I'd need to do $400 divided by 2. That's going to be $200. So $200 is 50%. If I wanted to find 10% of $400, I have to think, how do I get from 100 to 10? What do I need to divide by? Well, of course, I divide by 10. So if I wanted to work out what 10% of $400 is, I've got to do 400 divided by 10 as well. 400 divided by 10 is 40. And if I want, for example, to find 1%, well, 1%, I'm going to have to get 100 divided by 100 is going to get me 1. So I'm going to have to divide everything by 100. So if I was to do that in this case, uh, and divide $400 by 100, then that is going to be $4. Now, the nice thing about this is that if I can work out some of these key amounts like 50 and 10% and 1%, then I could actually add these up. I can build these up and build up my percentages to help us find new percentages. So for example, if I wanted to find 11% of $400, well, I've already worked out that a 10% is worth $40. And I've also already found out that a 1% is worth $4. So that will mean that my 11% is the combination of these two things, $44. So I can use these to help me. And that's how we're going to practice our percentages with non-calculator. 